I'm at the town of uh, Bidia, which is at the foot of the sand dunes, which are in front of me here. There's a little wadi at the bottom, and hence we have the palm trees, which are beautifully green. And um, today, time to go into the dunes, and I'll camp there for the night. This is the little oasis on the edge of the sand dunes. And I've just met a man who says, he didn't speak any English, but he said these, these trees are tamadi trees, where, which you get fruit from. I have no idea um, what fruit you get. <laughs> I love Oman, it's brilliant. And this is the first grass I've seen in, I've been here 10 days or so, and I've seen no grass. Um, and this is beautiful, green, cool, really cool as well, lots of shade. And lots of birds, I don't know if you can pick it up on the uh, camera, but all I can hear is birds, tweet, 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 tweet. If the desert's too hot, I might just come back here and camp tonight, because it'll be beautiful. Let's go find some dunes. I'm at the edge of the village now, and after here, it's just desert. And then I'm going to follow this road, and I'll follow it as far as I can. And then when the sand gets too deep, I'll just camp. Well, it's amazing and <laughs> I've met the camels. These are, these are for the tourists who will come along at the weekend. So this is Larry. Well, I don't know if he's called Larry, but he is now. And then there's two more over here. Let's go and say hello. <laughs> they're amazing animals and there's just pens of camels all the way up so up here there's another pen of camels and there's one over there and then I pass more as I came up the village and um, they'll be earning their keep at the weekend I think but they're beautiful animals And they move a bit like snakes. Their heads are going like this. And they just loll up along when they're walking. And their feet are amazing. Because, um, have a look at his feet. And then the dunes here are so high. These must be easily 50, 60 meters high. And once I find somewhere to camp, I'll hike up the top of one and I'll show you the view. But I'll leave you with Larry. That's like taking the dog for a walk, I suppose. Apart from here, you just tie them to a pickup truck <laughs> and drive through the desert. Amazing.
This is the uh, first line of dunes. Um, I'll show you the other side. This is uh, Bidia where I've come from today. And then I follow the track down here. And then I've come up into the dunes, which is the first line. And then they go on and on and on and on for miles that way. But if you ever want to know what silence is like, come to the dunes. All there is is the sound of the wind. And they are steep. If I show you over the edge. And there's a razor sharp edge from the wind. And this is the local uh, Bedouin. My, my bicycles, there's a camel pen down there. That's where I've left my bike. There's no camels. <laughs> and then the pens over here are goats. So that one's full of goats, and then the one next to it is full of goats as well. And tonight I'm going to camp in the dunes, and just there looks like a very nice spot. I'll leave my bike down at the uh, camel pen, I'm not going to push it up these dunes, they're steep. And I'll just camp here for the night. What a beautiful spot though, eh? A man at its best. The sun's just about to set over the dunes and I've set up camp for the night and I'm in a little dip in the dunes which means that I should get some cover um, if the winds blow and at the moment the winds are blowing this way um, this dune's protecting me dinner's on well the water is I'm gonna have uh, pasta tonight and again but it was a surprise eh and yeah, beautiful spot for the night. So the tent's up, dinner's on, sun's about to set. And there's my view. Another enter a beautiful day on the bike. I've just had my breakfast and packed up the tent and my time in the sand is done. And a beautiful night, the sky. There's meant to be some storms coming in and some lads stopped and um, they told me it was going to rain last night. And there's definitely meant to be some rain this weekend but it didn't arrive yesterday. And it was beautiful, the sky was just not a cloud, the stars were shining and the silence was amazing. And um, this morning, have a look.